Lens mowers today, March 17th, 2018. You probably watched the video before this one. This mini bike wasn't this color. That mini bike, this mini bike was blue when I blue and black when I got it, but we've turned it to orange and black. Maslin Tiger colors, if you ever heard of the team. That's how our game of football got started. I painted this orange. I painted orange all the way down to here and taped it off. And I painted this engine mount black. I got these springs up here taped. Those will be painted black. Back here to the fenders. That's just the back fender. That's the seat mount. I just left it on there and just taped it off for paint. I've got a stripe over there. I just had to repair some of the black paint. And I've got this I've got this clear coated. Yep, this is the front fender. This for the rear end, which those springs that are on the blue cooler, which I'll be showing you in a little bit. Those are for this, they mount in on these bolts back here. And I've got this front plate. I sprayed it black. I might put a number on it or I might just leave it off so I can speed this process up. These are my foot pegs. This is my kickstand. We'll go ahead and show you these uh foot uh the springs for the back end next. These are my leaf springs or shocks, whatever you like to call them. Uh, there's, I just sprayed them, sprayed the bottoms orange since the swing arm's black, and the, then the springs are going to be black, and the back of that frame is orange. Finally, I'm going to show you one more time this Briggs and Stratton two horse motor that came off of it that we'll be going back on. Not sure when this was made, but. And it's missing the air filter, but I've got the uh, air filter here. So, yeah, you'll see further in the video, because I'm going to make the rest of this video this week of the reassembly process. I've still got some paint touch up, but yeah, enjoy. Zen's mower's back. We're still on paint restoration. Uh, paint's pretty much dry. Mm, got the wheels back on now. This is just on temporarily. I haven't mocked everything up, tightened it or anything. It's just hanging on here because it's got a busy day here. And, but I did have some free time to get out here. The engine is still back in its corner. Now... I did make a kickstand spring so that this kickstand wouldn't rock back and forth on its own. You see, I drilled a hole to put this spring with a small Dewalt bit from Lowe's. And I've got the uh, existing piece on the kickstand that's supposed to butt it up with the frame. And that's how it locks now. I mean... It might not have been the best I can do, but it works. Paint may not be the best, but who cares? But anyway, go ahead and get to the next segment. Back for the last segment of the mini bike here. You've been watching this as it's come along. I haven't been out here too much. You're seeing this in one video, but actually it's a spanned over about a month. But anyway, there's the uh, new throttle grip I got in last week from Amazon. And I got it on here. My throttle linkage is working. I got that air filter back on there. And I ran a cable down to the brakes. I zip tied up these cables to the frame. And yeah reason this is going to be the last of this mini bike is because I've got some offers of interest. Even though the chain's not on, it'll be selling soon. I agreed to get it. 
how it was, but that's don't want to go too far into that. As you can see here, here's some housekeeping, getting this place cleaned up. Got some old air conditioner shells and old snow blower parts. A few more lawnmower parts and stuff in that pile. Just decided it was housekeeping day today too. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Like this video, comment as you please. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks.